Bad Boy versus the Go to Work Pistons. Who's winning that fight? Wow, I'm actually surprised. Let's see. I got a, we got a lot. Okay, going to work. Bad boys. Bad boys. Bad boys. Going to work. They're still in Pistons. That's funny. All right. So, I don't want to be the grumpy old man, right? I told y'all, me and Deuce are at a, a very special age when it comes to, to the NBA basketball. We've had an opportunity to live through several eras, right? Okay. Let's talk some matchups, Deuce. Yeah. First and foremost, we'll start with the number one position. Wait, real quick. Go ahead. Are we going 89 Pistons or 90 Pistons? Which team? Bro, I don't even think it even matter. You don't think no. it matter? Mm -mm. I think it does. I'm going to go 89 roster. Right here. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think that's, yeah. Okay, because I mean, because it's basically like, because Mahorn wasn't there in 90. You mm -hmm. know, he wasn't there for that one. He was there for the first one. So, it really just depends on, you know, who you're thinking about. So, I'm going to go to 89. Based off of this, bro. <laughs> okay, so, because look, because look. Aguirre, Mark Aguirre, first round overall pick. Mm -hmm. We know mm -hmm. what he was. With the mask. Great player. <laughs> you got Joe D. You got James Edwards. Shout out to James. Um, Vinny Johnson. Microwave. Bill and Beer. Mahorn. Rodman. Sally. And Zeke. So, that, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine men rotation, basically. Everybody else pretty much didn't play, for being honest. Okay, I'm talking playoffs. Because I'm talking they played in the series. So Adrian Dantley by this point was gone. He was traded. So who's your starting five? Um, obviously you got Isaiah and Joe, right? Mm -hmm. You got to have Dantley because he's he's just bro. <laughs> he was gone though. He was yeah. gone. He was gone. Oh well. Oh no. This is the '89 squad. Yeah, he was he was traded mid season. I'll start Vinny. I don't care. I would. I would. I would start Vinny. He's gonna be Stop a guard off the bench. I listen, man. I ain't got no guards off the bench. <laughs> listen, you man. Got Joe, I, Vinny, Zeke, and Vinny. I'm not really. I'm not really too concerned with who's coming off the bench. That's starting five. So Isaiah, Jody, and Vinny. You got Bill, and you got uh, you got Robin. So you got Bill. Okay. And the off the yeah, bench. I'm okay. thinking. I'm thinking matchup right now. Wonder before right. why I'm saying that because. Of course, Rodman got to be the guy to go up against Ben. Right. You know, he right. probably the only one that can frustrate Ben and probably get Ben to get a tap. It's Rodman. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 So going pound okay. for pound for rebounds. That's why I said I wanted to go match up as far as yeah. those top five positions because. So let's do it. Yeah. So let's 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 just take okay. Let's take that five that you just mentioned, and we'll take that five and go against the old four or five. You got Chauncey. You got Rip. You got Tayshawn. You got Ben and you got Sheep, right? So let's just start there. Chauncey versus Zeke. Zeke will kill Chauncey. Yes, he will. Not even a play. <laughs> not even a debate. Isaiah Thomas does not get enough damn respect in this league for how out and cold he was. Zeke will kill Chauncey. Yeah. The <laughs> only the only way Chauncey could make it look somewhat respectable is if he tried to put him in the post. That's the only way he would have any advantage. I'm not it's even sure way. he can be successful at that, man, because Zeke, Zeke. I mean, yeah, he was strong. Yeah. He's strong, bro. Yeah, I love Chauncey. Love you, bro. But you know what you know. Joe D or Rick? This is where it gets this tricky. This is where it gets interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. We talk about Joe a guy, Dubar, who, who who had to defend the OG of Rip's game. He had to oh, defend Reggie Miller. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He had to defend Michael Jordan. We, we were talking about somebody yeah. who Jordan actually respects on this team. You know what I'm saying? Right. He always respected Joe Dumars. Always. So, I mean, you know, Rip, you know, running around screens all game long. I get it, man. But Joe D's pre he's prepared for that. Yeah. But then you're going to have to deal with Joe D. And Rip, yeah. on the defensive side of the ball, I don't know if he's ready for well, that. He, he's long enough. He he's long about enough, he is. He is, and that's gonna be tough because because Rip is regarded as having the best conditioning had the best conditioning in the league. You we saw Kobe huffing and puffing in the finals, and Rip was just Rip was walking around fine. Kobe at the line. <laughs> so I'm just saying that's something that will have to be factored in. Is Rip is gonna run you to death? See, this is the, the sure. this right. This is what I was waiting on. This is the youth of the comment section. 
Okay. Yes, he will chase. He will chase the heck out of Ripper Rock because he chased Reggie <laughs> Miller. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Did. Did. There was there will be no Rip style without Reggie Miller. Right, right. And we're talking <laughs> to Young Joe D too. So Young yeah. Joe D would, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. And first of all, we have to and see that this is where it gets inter- interesting because okay, which era are we gonna play them in? Because this if, is how if, I would do if, it. Yeah. This is how we do it. Seven game series, right? Mm. I'm looking at the 89. We're going 89 versus 04. Right? It's the best way I could come up with it. Who had the best record in between the 89 versus the 04? I think the 89 team had a better record. The 04 team had a 54 and 28 record. Mm. I believe the 89 team was 60. It had 61 season. So based off of the regular season record, I'm giving home court advantage, home referee advantage. To the 89 team. So they play game seven their way. That's yeah. kind of how, how I did it based off of the record for that season. So keep that in mind too. So what who do we say? I think that's a wash, to be honest. I would probably give a slight edge to Joe D. Because he was just he was a monster. A lot of people Jody? take this politeness for weakness. Let me ask you this. If the Pistons would have beat the Spurs year two, Chauncey probably would have won the MVP again, right? Right. Joe D won one of those two MVPs. You gotta consider that too. So I would probably go Joe D. Yeah, okay. Tayshawn versus Mark McGuire. I got my answer. I'm going with Tayshawn. Tayshawn was just too versatile, bro. And yep. don't get it. Also, don't get enough credit. He don't get enough credit for you know what he he did. I mean, we all see the block rewinded all the time, but we don't see him defending. Tracy right. McGrady, Kobe Bryant, all of these guys in this league that were absolutely unstoppable. Tayshawn yeah. had to defend them guys and did a damn good job at doing it. Yep. You know, also offer you a guy cutting on screens for alley oops and everything else, can knock down shots. I mean, I'm going with Tayshawn. I agree. Especially for what that team needed. Mm-hmm. He was he was the connector for everything else that was lacking on that team he provided it whether yep. it was mentally or physically right he was just that guy and he was versatile he, his offensive package was very underrated because they had enough guys on that team who would give it offensively go look up his college tape he had five years in a row to start a game and the fifth one was from half court <laughs> go look it up Tayshaun Prince yeah college, five threes in a row you'll be surprised and defensively he can guard pretty much anybody in the yeah. pinch if you need him to. I'm Hold on, let me just make a quick comment to this one. Listen, don't don't let the errors fool you because just because the TV and the camera wasn't as fast as you think back then, don't think Reggie Miller was some type of slouch. No, young no. young Reggie Miller could move. I think you watching the, yeah. the older Reggie Miller. Young Reggie Miller could move. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And even if you think he may have been a little bit faster, let's do not get it twisted. As great of a shoot as Rick was, Reggie was better. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. yeah, he may have been a touch faster. There was a point where I feel like Rip was the fastest player in the league. Period. Just from end to end. So that he probably was a little bit faster, but Reggie was still a better shooter. So it, it, that cancels out. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Mark McGuire was no slouch. He was no slouch. He would no, he wasn't no slouch. Man, but, but like I said, look who Tayshawn defended in this league. Right. Right. You know, so he ain't going to be just dropping 30 on Tayshawn. That's not going to happen. Right. No, that's not going to happen at all. So that's 2-1 for the bad boys. This is where it's the scale tips for me. It starts to go the other way. Okay, so four. <laughs> it starts to go the other way. So four. Was she... <laughs> Who was your four? In the uh, uh, it was Rodman and Bill. I don't care right. which one of them bigs you put. Rasheed going to tear their ass up, man. Rasheed, so let's just do it like this. Rasheed is guarding Lambeer. Mm-hmm. And Ben is guarding Robin. Ben and Robin, they're going to be doing the Spider Man meme. They're going to cancel each other out, I think, in large part. I think Ben will be able to out physical him because he's stronger. But I think Dennis was a little bit more wiry and bendy that he could have also given Ben some problems, too. That's a that's tough an one. interesting matchup because that's a ben, tough one, man. Yeah, I'm going I'm gonna give Ben the edge, me personally. Um, okay. Yeah, his good. athleticism. Ben was more athletic than people. a lot of people think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of those alley-oop situations and everything else. But his strength 
we talking about a guy who went up one on one with Shaq. One on one with Shaq. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have to look at this is why I said the scale tips for me. You have to look at the competition. Even when you look at Rasheed Wallace, this man was on the West Coast going to All Star games against the top teams in the league. Right. And he didn't have the roster. You know what I'm saying? That was like I said, when it comes to Rasheed Wallace, bro, and Bill Lambeer, it's not even a question to me. It's it's yeah. Rasheed. You cannot stop Rasheed Wallace. Yeah. You cannot stop him. Nope. But when you pack the heavy bed together, you give Rasheed Wallace a defensive factor. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's it's just different. You know, I seen Rasheed Wallace go from here to here when he yeah. started playing with De uh, Ben Wallace. Yeah. So those two together are murder. They are yeah. murder, man. And I, I just yeah. can't see Bill and Beer and Rodman dealing with that duo, bro. Rodman was six seven, right? He played bigger. Ben was about six seven. I think Bill was seven feet. I think he was seven even, and she was six eleven. So, yeah, I, I think. She is a better version of Bill. He's, he's just a more talented version. He can stretch the floor, he can put the ball in the pole, he can do everything. Mm -hmm. But having been there, those yeah, those two guys, it, it, I think they would have just been a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. A little bit too much talent and too much size. The benches. I kept seeing everybody saying, because this, this post went crazy. Shout out to everybody who, who was on there. Everybody's talking about the, the 04 bench not being as good as the bad boy bench. I felt like the 04 bench was better. Here's the bench. For the 89 roster, right? I, I don't know, man. I, I just, I don't, don't get it twisted. They have James Edwards. You got Vinny. You got Mahorn. You got Sally. You got some guys, but you don't really have a guard. You really have a lot of guard play. You got size, but the guard play for me is lacking. I compare that to the 04 roster, and you got Elgin Campbell for James Edwards. I don't know, man. Lindsay Hunter. I'm going to go with James. That, uh... O'Cour. I'm going with yeah, that bad smell. Bitch. Yeah, I'm taking. I'm taking this bench, bro. I'm, I'm going bad boys. I'm still going bad boys. Okay, so tell me why. Why are you taking the bad boys bench over the old four bench? You got to think about it, man. What that those benches was up against. You know, what I'm saying in '89, like it, it's not like they were just some type of wash. You know, when when the starter sat down. No, no, no. Yeah, we talk about Sally and Vinny Johnson and. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I take my odds, bro. Like if I if I got I see I, I can put Lindsay and, and Mike James on Vinny. I can let them take turns. Yeah, that's the you got <laughs> the tools. Yeah, they can take turns. We're deep. We got this we got fresh really, legs. This is this is difficult. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like and you got you got Cole like getting buckets. Oh core, he was he was kind of a Bill and Beer type. Yeah, man, and you know, throw in Darvin Ham for good measure. <laughs> you know. Yeah, dog. That's that's that old four bench, tough, man. man. I don't know. <laughs> I still even with the people. I still don't know if you're gonna be able to stop Vinny Johnson, bro. Nobody can stop Vinny Johnson. That. I'm not mad at that. But if there's one guy who won't want to guard, <laughs> it's Lindsey yeah. Hunter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and Vinny, guy, Vinny is, was strong, man. He was. Vinny was a strong player. He was a tank. He so it ain't you know it ain't like Lindsay out there checking Carlos Arroyo or somebody. Vinny was strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was tough. He was six three. He yeah. reminds me a lot of Chauncey the way he's built. Yeah, yeah. He's and the way the way he shot also was difficult to deal with, man, because right. he was stopping Ray so fast it's kind of hard to defend it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that shot for Jerome Percy to win it. Man, boy, yeah. I remember sitting in the living room with my pops. My pops running around the living room talking about the microwave, man. Yeah, well, yeah that's, that's a tough one, man. Both had awesome coaches. Both coaches preached the same thing. Let's talk about it. But I've never seen a team defend and hold teams to lower scores than the 04 Pistons. So that's yeah. that's that's my thing, bro. I mean, we talking about teams out here scoring 65. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, that that defense was tough. It was some tough defense, man. We talking about an era where, you know, they they kind of opened up the league just to smidge it. That to me is, That's I don't know, man. That's the difference. The defense. Yeah, you're talking about a team that 
<laughs> I think it was double digit games where they held him under 70 points. The team that broke it was New Jersey. Mm-hmm. And we had just gotten, she was fresh on that team. Everybody was on the bench. They had 69. And, they, and Aaron Williams, I don't know Aaron Williams, light skinned big dude for the New Jersey Nets. Got a tip in at the buzzer to, to give him 71. And the Nets are celebrating, bro. They're getting blew out. Yeah. They got blew out. And they're celebrating because they broke the streak for being able to score more than 70 points. Yeah. Just just that alone shows you how crazy that defense was, bro. It was insane. They were on a string. Mm-hmm. And they all played for each other. They all knew we can do something, man. And it just it just worked. It just worked. Now, let's tip the scale a little bit more and bring bring okay. the bad boys back up here. Pistons in 04, they had some tough opponents. New Jersey, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We all know that series, Indiana. We had we had some tough opponents. But, bro, they wasn't Lakers. They wasn't Celtics. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of of the bad boys era. You were talking about regular, regulars in, in finals. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, uh, you know, before That's Michael true. Jordan. Michael Jordan's the young pup. I'm talking about before. It was we, a little bit later. Yeah, we was kicking people ass. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, competition. Like, come on, bro. It's not even. It's not close. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there was no Kareem. There was no right. Phantom Power. How many Hall of Famers is coming off those teams in 04 compared to the 89? You know yeah, what I'm saying? So you look, yeah, let's let's talk about it. Let's start with big men that, that they had to deal with, just getting to the finals. You had Kenya Martin, um, Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine dog, O'Neal. Yeah. Dog. You know. I don't want no um, parts of uh, Ben and Rasheed, but dog. I don't know about that, bro. I mean, you know, I, you know how I feel about Indiana. I'm not an Indiana fan. Yeah. And he, him, he and them got under the, our skin. I, I, I saw they it. Anyway, did. I, I would say more our tests, you know, and, and 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 Jackson and those guys did more than than O'Neal did. I felt like O'Neal, compared to what O'Neal O'Neal was doing as far as his offensive numbers and everything else. I just felt like he wasn't he wasn't given everything he had against Ben and, and Rasheed when they they matched up. I felt like he did. I just felt the two of them were just better. Yeah. Because the other big was not it was Scott Pollard, you know what I'm saying? But I felt like with with O'Neal, I felt like he was a smidge better offensively than she in like a not and just not quite as good defensively as Ben defensively. Like he was kind of a combination of both of those guys now he was just tough to deal with man like straight up he would be tough to deal with for ben i would i would i remember those games man like ben would of course you know keep him on his average but it was t- he was a low right so that's that's the one guy who i would say he was tough he was tough but outside of that somebody said tom mccullough yeah it wasn't really a lot of guys in the eastern conference who was who was doing much <laughs> even I mean, especially especially big. You had an old Matumbo. You know what I'm saying? You, you Rick Smith. Rick Smith's. Yeah. AC Green was 89. I'm dead. <laughs> Come on, Marvin. Chill, bro. Chill. I did too. That's what I'm saying. First month. They were tough, man. They were tough. But I, your point is, is well taken, King. Um, the competition. Because even the guards in for You had Iverson, right? J Kid, Prime J Kid was something to deal with for sure. Chauncey held his own, but he was something to deal with. Yeah. Um, Gilbert Arenas was around there, you know, but wasn't really a lot of a lot of guys during that time. So, yeah, I'm with you. The competition was definitely much tougher. Yeah. For, for the bad boys, for sure. Between that '86, between the Celtics, <laughs> that's tough. And the Lakers, Philly. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Last thing I want to talk about too is Chuck Daly. And Larry Brown, <laughs> who, who do you have in that situation? God, dog, I'm taking uh, I'm taking Daddy Smooth, man. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now why is that? Simply because he did it longer. He won more. Okay. Maybe it's still some ill will because Larry Brown uh, dipped on us like a, a bad whore. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. <laughs> if we win. If the score is 81-74, Game 7, 2005 Finals in our favor, instead of against us, does that change your mind at all? Well, the fact that we, we didn't get two, we didn't repeat the repeat, is that a big part of it? 
But see, I would I would have to topple that. I would say, okay, yeah, that'll be two and two. But then I would have to topple that and say, if the NBA officials didn't cheat and give Kareem that goddamn foul call, Phantom foul. You see, what I'm saying yeah. we got three championships. Eighty-eight to ninety. Yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it's like you could. Yeah. That's true. I mean, it's a lot of this. I mean, Pistons could have won four, bro. Mm -hmm. They could have won four in a row. Eighty-seven was the Seal by Bird series. I mean, they yeah, were that, up three two. They were about to win that series. Daddy Rich. You know? yeah. And then eighty eight was like you said, the Phantom Foul along with the sprained ankle. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, along with Adrian Danley and Benny Johnson colliding and, and hitting knocking each other out like well, let's just talk about this. Adrian Adrian Danley is a crazy dude, bro. You know, I, 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 did you see, for instance, when we watched the Bad Boys documentary, did you see yeah. this dude looking around? Bro, who coming after Parent. you? Why, hey, I feel like I feel like Kanye, bro. Like, why are you so paranoid? Bro, like, bro. <laughs> like these dudes gonna run up and steal yeah. on you or something, man. I, them practices, them, them fights and practice must have really uh, traumatized them or something. I think it was. I think it was his upbringing because he's kind of always been that way. Like somebody is is, is is out to get him. Yeah, he's out. You know what I'm saying? He could hoop though. He could hoop. Yeah. He was a black hole on offense, but he could hoop. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Chuck, exactly. I mean, that was tough. That was tough. So yeah, we could have four. That's so, okay. So who's your pick? After all things considered, I'm seven going. game series. Who you taking? Bad boys going to work. This team here. The bad boys. Bad boys. Mmm. I'm going wow. with the bad boys. Okay. I'm not mad at it. They're the bad boys. I always go with the sensei. The Sensei did it first. The Sensei was the first dominant Pistons team that we had. They were the first. They were the master. Yeah. And then the 04 copy came. And hopefully we can get a third copy one day. Well, you can't play defense in this league, so hopefully we can get something like it. Something yeah, one day. as close as you can. Yeah. You know, this yeah. era is all about hugs and sharing and everything else. And what? No. Can't do nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Um, who wins the seven games? Chuck will be going to work with Larry with the bad boys. Like if you switch him, um, Larry with the bad boys. I was gonna say Larry with the bad boys would be ridiculous, man. Yeah, he's like they he's defense would probably anyway. even be better. They'd be better. Yeah, they'd be better. And that's insane to even think about. But they would. Be but better. The, here's the crazy part: they preach the same thing. Play the right yeah. way was both of the messages. Play yeah. when you seen you know when you seen Daddy Rich in the, in the huddles or whatever, he was saying the same thing as Larry Brown. I need the defense. I need the defense. You know what I'm saying? They right. preach the same thing. Yeah. I mean, before we get off here, I did one final question between the bad boys and the 04 Pistons. Look like it's still gonna be bad boys for most people. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the 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 defining factor, bro, is like that is that seven game. And I feel like it will go seven game. And if we're going based off of the rules, kind of being in favor of the team that had the better record in that respective season, which mm -hmm. is the bad boys, I feel like you gotta you gotta go bad boys. Bad boys. By yeah. a hair. Just By a hair. That's a lot yeah. of personalities out there in that court. It is. God, that's a lot of personalities out there on that court. You gotta consider that too, man. Like, you know, will Ben or will Bill be able to get in she's head or vice versa? That, that's a big part of it too. You only get two texts and you out of there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I can see Mahorn, you talk eighty nine, I can see him, you know, being being a martyr in a sense and I'm gonna get thrown out, but I'm gonna get your, your best big thrown out. I, I can see that kind of stuff. I, I can yeah. see that being a part of it too. So it's like the mental part of it, man, we didn't even talk about that. And then but, the, the, um, strong, the strong personalities between Chauncey and Isaiah. Yeah, you know, and those is the leaders, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's like, man, that's that's interesting. And that is does. really interesting. And Rip Rip was more the guy, you know, he wasn't per se as quiet as is Joe D, but no. similar to Joe D because he just went out there and played. You know what I'm saying? And Joe D went out there and played. When it was game time, he was locked in. You know, I don't mm -hmm. care how quiet he is, he was locked in, bro. And he yeah. wasn't scared of nobody on the court. He will politely he will politely lock your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would. Yeah. He would.
We'll go bad boys for now. We'll go bad boys for now. I'm on my way up and I'm not gonna stop. We headed straight to the top in the low. I gotta face it. I got no time.